So I'm going to be again in the key of G here, and I'm going to show you how uh, one of the styles, or kind of a medium swing shuffle gospel groove, is uh, to play the root and fifth in the left hand. Kind of a boogie woogie thing. Any of you guys ever played boogie woogie before? You go up with the five to the six, and then seven. Now on the right hand, I just play G7 to C, G7, and then just mirror that. Sounds a little square because it doesn't have uh, what we call a little bit of little bit of junk in there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get a little junk in there. First of all, you got to use grace notes on the flat third, and then on the flat five occasionally. Now don't play ever play grace notes with another finger because it doesn't have the same sound. Listen, it doesn't have the same sound. You want to slide that finger across, and some of you have to really work at that. Over time, you'll get used to it. Also, you want to really pay attention to the articulation, how long the notes are, how short they are, which notes are short, which notes are long, that kind of thing. show you how to put a little more junk in there. If you notice with my left hand, I'm going to play on the flat five. Now this isn't something I've ever meant to do or started doing, it's just something that I noticed that I started doing. And it just gives it a little more flavor. Why the flat five? I don't know. Maybe just because my finger naturally just wants to go there. But check this out. Now, I'm going to show you another thing that you can do to give it even more. You can do the same kind of approach with the Floyd Kramer lid, that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to roll. Some 